Uh -huh. So let's start. Uh -huh. First, we have this thing that we are calling fmonde at gmail.com. Isn't it? Yes. Uh -huh. Now, on this one, what we are actually saying is we want to find there are only two, two results. It's either it's true or false. Once we find that command, then we take it the other side. So we know that an email address is going to have an at, and it is also going to have a .com. Obviously, there will be .net, .what, .what, that will do it later on, and maybe tomorrow. So say equals, there's a formula called find. You can use find, or you can use search. Find, let me open it. What does this find do? It says, you want to find the text. Which text do you want to find? We want to find the at sign. Within which text? Within this text, G9. Are we there? With it, within yes. G9. Yes. Start number. Where do we want to start from? We know we don't want to start from who? number one, because there is no email address that is at what what. <laughs> we want to start on character number three, at least. To start searching at character number three. This is where I want to start from. So press OK. You see it's giving us seven. So the art is on it, character number seven, F1, M2, O3, N4, D5, E6, art is on seven. Press OK. Are we there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now understand this thing. The only uh, formula that can give us my, my, my true or false up is either it's or or and. So let's use and. So after the equal sign, just check, see where I'm taking my case I'm studying. After yes, the following. equal sign, type yes. and, type and like this and open bracket and mm -hmm. I'll be done very soon. Type and. Yes. Uh -huh. So please follow this rule thing and you'll do it after I'm, I'm going. It's a small trick. Okay. So and, so what we're actually saying, this and generates two types of responses. It's either it is true or false. So the first one is okay. So we go to the second one. The second one would be also find open bracket. Please, 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 please follow through. Find open bracket. Kangwa, it's let this first. You are too quiet, eh? Following Kylie, I just joined. Okay, find open bracket. Inverted comma, inverted comma, we know that there's dot com in an email address. Inverted comma, dot com, inverted comma. Alfred, <laughs> are we there? Then, yes. So we want to find this text, dot com. Where do we want to find it? We want to find it in G. Nine. Here. If you don't want to do that, you just take your case like this. In G9. Comma. Where do you want to find it? From which character? On which number that you want to specify so that it starts looking for this uh, dot com? 
we don't want to have a dot com at. We want to start with the at, then we go to dot com. So this is why I'm picking this formula here in logical one. Pick this formula. Copy this formula, control C, and just take it there, push it here. Paste it there and close the bracket like this. Are we there? Uh, following. Mm -hmm. Okay. Following and not taking. But we do this, uh, once it's done, I, I go home. I'm not yet home. <laughs> so, so that you start practicing, I'll give you some headaches what you should look at. Uh -huh. So you have this too. So press OK. Press OK. They're just following some of us. OK. OK. If you're following, that's... Tempo is just following as if well. you're fo I know Mr. Tempo is doing this. If you're following, that's the most humble thing you can do. Okay. Yeah. Are we there? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So now, there could be a situation where you, you don't have anything there. It's going to show a value. For example, if this formula, if this email address is not there, it will show value like this, and we don't want it to show that. Mm -hmm. So in the formula here, I will say equals, and I'll put if error. Anyway, there's a video. You still follow the video. If error. So if error, what should it do? So if error, it should show false. And press OK. So if there's an error here, the formula, I want it to show false. This is what I want to do. Now that we are done with this, I'll go to where I have this true thing. I know Alfred is, is not just following, he's doing this. And I'll copy this formula. This is some of, these are some of my tricks, guys. I'll copy that formula, control C. Then I'll come here and highlight whatever I want to highlight. Hi. Right. Uh -huh. yes. So having done that, then now I'll go to, please, please, please now look at this. I'll go to data validation. So on data validation, I'll go to list. Not list, I'll go to custom, sorry. So under custom, I'll go to formula. Remember that I got that formula there and I'll paste it, control V. I'll paste it here. I hope I'll paste it there. Then I'll press OK. Mm -hmm. Then now I'll go to data validation. I, should have, I shouldn't have even pressed OK. Here, after having this formula, I'll go to input message. I'll say, enter a correct password. Email. I, oh, anti correct email. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Anti correct email address. Mm -hmm. Press OK. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I've, I've picked the thing there. I should have. It wasn't, I should have gone to the error messages, not this. So let me go to. Ignore this. Let me just remove this part. It should be on error alert. That's, I want to stop this. So I'll say error message. Kindly enter a correct email address. Press OK. So if I get in here, I do like this dot com my excel is misbehaving kindly enter a correct email address so i'm sure i come in here and say it's mm at yahoo dot dot com do you accept if i start with the dot com 
at Alfred, it will say no. Why? Because dot com doesn't come before at. But then if I just say at dot com, it will refuse as well because the at it should be ready on the third character. Mona. Especially those that go in the field, you you create these templates. And these templates, unfortunately, these templates. Sorry, I should have done this. And unfortunately, these templates, they are supposed to be used by so many people. So you need to make sure that if you have to, co to, co to collect good data, you should bring in a lot of validations. So kindly enter a correct email address. So then it means now I can say, well, at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm. So the task I'm going to give you, I want you to make sure that even other, you know, email addresses do have dot net, dot co, dot uk, you go and try that. But the only way you can do it, you, you will need to combine with the, with the, with the an or function, which we can do in the advanced level. So you master this. So I'll leave you here tomorrow. We'll, we'll look at one exam paper. Actually, we'll look at all exam papers that you, what you did. We'll look at question one. So say we start with Alfred, we check question one, we correct it, we go to Bolivia, we go to Kangwa, and we go to Amos. Okay. Okay, so talking about um, the, the assignment that you're giving us, Maybe that assignment we, leave it for now. You can try it, but maybe leave it for now. Okay. You first perfect the principle. Yes, that's what, what I want to ask uh, regarding the principle. You've talked about, uh, you showed us the drop down uh, menu. Uh -huh. Meaning, uh, like where we started from, you showed us how to name a range. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm trying to think. It's, it's, uh, if it's possible, like we have dot net, dot co, dot all those. Mm. If if someone is able to think of even twenty, you you put them in a range and name yeah. it, and it come it becomes part of the formula. I know you are using you are saying we have to use all. Mm -hmm. So before we can use all in the current place where we're using and, mm -hmm. can that work? You you go and try it as long as it gives us true or false. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If all those things in the range are there, they are there and you say any of these, because your dot com, dot net, it should only pick one. So if any of these are there, then it's okay. But if you want, you can also use the O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, O, oh. you pick them, if they are 200, you pick them. For now, thank you so much. Sometimes short, short uh, lectures are good. Let's meet tomorrow. We will look at one component, then we'll go to your exam. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Please, you, you just practice on this thing. Just practice. I'll, I'll send the video. And then, okay. All right, thank you. Mm.